Now, on this video, I want to talk to you about a phenomenon that all of us seem to go through at some time in life, and that's the weekend warrior syndrome. And the reason I want to talk to you about it is uh, one of the consequences of the weekend warrior syndrome is people die. Uh, basically, most of us are familiar with we might have an office job or we may not be doing a great deal of physical activity uh, Monday through Friday. And then come Saturday and Sunday, we decide we're going to make it all up at one time. And so we go out and get a lot of exercise. And what really got me interested in this is I have a friend, Dr. Joe Hummel. Joe is an emergency room doctor, very muscular. Joe was a heavyweight wrestler for the University of North Carolina. And I was telling Joe when we started looking at this process of free radicals and antioxidants and the types of diseases and problems we have. He enlightened me on what is the situation with weekend warriors and why it's so bad. And what I wanted to show you was basically when we're sitting day to day and we're not exerting a lot of energy, our cells are basically able to produce the energy we need. And that's done by the production of what's called ATP. Adenosine triphosphate, that just means there's another thing you're here called ADP. And the difference between ATP and ADP is this has only two phosphates and when it flips past in the what we call the Krebs cycle, the uh, electron transfer, we put another phosphate on it, that's a triphosphate versus a diphosphate. And this is where our energy comes from. Well, cells just sitting, we can produce enough energy and we can dispose of the byproducts of producing energy. And a lot of times, I mean, one you're familiar with is carbon dioxide. Uh, we put it in the blood, we send it to the lungs, and we ex expel it. Did I spell that right? There we are, carbon dioxide. All right, that's normal. That's homeostasis. This is what goes on every single day. And our body stays basically and is able to handle this. But what happens when you start exercising? Well, we've got a different phenomena starting now. Anytime you start exercising, that means your muscles need more energy. That puts more stress to produce more ATP because you're running, you're jumping, you're biking, you're basketballing, you're doing something strenuous. And now the cells are getting stressed because they have to produce more energy. Well, once the cells start producing more energy, you also have more waste products that we may not be getting rid of. But one of the problems of energy production is when we, we use electrons to transport. But when you're stressing out and working your muscles hard, we have another bad apple comes in. And that's an electron. And actually it's a lot more than one electron. It is many electrons are released when you're exercising. Well, an unpaired electron is also known as what we know as a free radical. Now, there are a lot of issues with free radicals. Free radicals, when we have an excess of free radicals after a weekend of exercising, this is where our soreness comes from. This is where we can't move. This is where we lose our range of motion because of soreness. This is where pain sets in. But we got another deeper internal problem. Free radicals cause all sorts of diseases when they are allowed to stay there, including heart attacks. It is not uncommon for a person that engages in vigorous activity rarely to later suffer a heart attack. The reason for that is the free radicals are wreaking havoc on the body. So, what is the process that we need to use and we can use that will prevent some of the damage due to free radicals? Here's what happens, not only on the weekend, 
But anytime you have an injured patient, let's say they have a torn ACL or they engage in any type of physical activity, including weightlifting and so on and so forth, your body, in order to provide the energy from the cells, produces this energy in excess of what it normally does. When you finished exercising, you have this abundance of these free radicals that are wreaking havoc in the body. One of the things we do is we can take electrons, and that would be through, example, the Infrex machine. We take an, an electrode pad. There's our pad. And let's just say there's the person's leg and we put another pad over here and then we have the other leg here we're going to put a pad say in this area and there's the leg and we'll put another pad over here in this area now what we're really doing is when we have the patient now begin to exercise and flex these muscles while they're exercising we're actually supplementing or sending and let me make those in red Whoop! We're actually sending electrons across here through the muscle tissue to the other el electrode. Remember, we always complete a circuit. What is that doing? That is literally removing free radicals. And in that process, we are supplementing new electrons that other atoms that are trying to heal. Because remember, after exercise and during rehab, the process you're really going through is we take our muscles that we're not used to moving, we're not as strong, and we overstretch them. We cause damage. Well, then we have to wait, repair the damage, and then we do it again. We increase our range of motion, we increase our elasticity, but that is the process of rehabilitation. Now, using electron supplementation, we minimize the free radicals. We then increase basically what is antioxidants, but that is simply supplying new electrons to the cells so that they can repair the damage quicker. By doing this process, we allow the patient to regain range of motion, regain strength faster than they would have done had they not used electron supplementation. Now, on the Weekend Warrior, one of the things you do not need to use like the Infrex FRM, which is a high intensity Russian type stem, but what you can do, and I actually had my daughter do it, and she still does it to this day, what my daughter actually does is she would come in after a hard exercising program and she would actually take her Infrax unit and she would use it with ice and would wear the unit for 30 to 40 minutes. And what she was really doing with the Infrax was electron supplementation to get those muscles she had just worked with to reduce the soreness there was some pain at that point too. reduce the pain and in the same process allow her to heal quicker. And if you look on our website, you will see from moment of surgery uh, for uh, ACL repair, a medial meniscus, she was back actually on the basketball court in 98 days. Now she was 17 years old and she also was very motivated to get back. But this is just trying to give you an explanation of what is a weekend warrior situation and why you really need to be careful. If anything, you always want to be moderate in the way you return to exercising. Don't go from nothing to 100%. Your body's pretty good at minimizing free radicals if you will allow it to develop, the cells to actually develop in such a way they become accustomed to the amount of energy that is used and you don't go from one point of energy to a hundred points in a matter of a few hours. You go from one to ten to twenty to thirty over time. That allows the body to adjust, the cells to adjust, and you will stay healthier. 
plus you avoid some of the terrible risk and diseases that are associated with an abundance of free radicals. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. At MedFax, our priority is to educate and inform on topics such as pain relief, sports performance, injury rehab, nutrition, antioxidants, electron supplementation, and electrotherapy. We carry a complete line of electrotherapy devices and accessories including interferential, TENS, ultrasound, muscle stimulators, electrodes, and more. We are excited about being on the cutting edge of electrotherapy research. 